Warlock. Hey, Mr. Wara here. Yes, I am. I'm providing you yet another math video. My goodness, Mr. Wara. One video after the other, you're driving me crazy. Hey, we're back to Go Math. Go Math! Yeah, you know? Interesting. Nonetheless, let's get started here. We have compare fraction factors and products. Hmm, very interesting. We're also going to be looking at mathematical practices, uh, three, four, five, and six, and we'll actually be covering a couple mathematical practices as they are practices that we should be using while we do math. I guess that's why they call it mathematical practices. Okay, let's go ahead and look at this real world this real world problem. I always seem to my, my tongue seems to get twisted on that one. Real world. Woohoo! There you go. Thank you, Magic Pen. Let's see. Unlock the problem. Well first, oh my goodness. Come back up here, Mr. Wara. Look. Essential question. You always do that first. How does the size of the product compare to the size of one factor when multiplying fractions? So we'll be looking carefully at that essential question throughout the video, throughout this lesson. Okay, multiplication can be thought of as resizing one number by another number. Think about it. For example, you have 2 times 3 will result in a product that is 2 times great as 3. Meaning, you like when you say, I have double, I have double than what you have, you're saying you have something that's two times greater than that number. That makes sense. You're resizing it. You're making the size larger. Here's one thing that we can look at. What happens to the size of a product when a number is multiplied by a fraction rather than a whole number? Hmm, yes, I would like to know. Please tell us more. Well, during the week, the Delgado family ate three quarters of a box of cereal. <laughs> three quarters of a box? I could eat three quarters by myself. But anyway, shade the model to show three quarters of a box. So I see four equal sections, so I'm thinking, yeah, there's one quarter, here's two quarters, three quarters, and I better stop because that's all I have, three quarters. It says write an expression, okay, for three quarters of one box of cereal. Oh, like basically three quarters times one, one whole box. Okay. Understood. Will the product be equal to, greater than, or less than one? It's hmm, a great question. Well, based on the fact that three quarters of that one box, that number would have to be less than one. Okay, the product would be less than one. Based, and you know, I can see that by looking at the model. What do we know? What do we know about the product of any number when it's multiplied by one? Yeah, we, we know that the number times one is that number. So in this case, it's not going to become larger because 3 quarters is being multiplied by 1. All right, let's skip on down the page. Yes. Now it says the Ling family has four boxes of cereal. Okay, now we're talking four boxes of like some Captain Crunch. They ate 3 quarters of all the cereal during the week. Of all the cereal, all four boxes. So the model showing four boxes. All right. Shave the model to show three quarters of four boxes of cereal. Which I love that sound. And look at there, we have ourselves three quarters on all of these. Now it says write an expression. Okay, I guess I could do that too. For three quarters of four boxes of cereal. So an expression, well it would be times the four whole boxes. Okay, so that's my expression. All right, come on down. And then it says, will the product be equal to, greater than, or less than four? Okay, well, I think the, the product would, would be less than 4, obviously, by looking at that picture. So that's what I'm going to say. I'm going to actually do this. So in this case, I'm going to say that it's going to be less than 4. Okay, so the product would be less than 4 because looking at that picture. I mean, think about it. You know, suppose we're just comparing the product, okay, to the factor 3 quarters. We're just going to compare the factor, I mean, I'm sorry, the product with the factor. Now, the model is going to help us determine the product based on that picture because when we see 4, we can see right away that it has to be less than 4 because we have these quarter spots op open. They haven't been shaded. Mathematical practice 3, it basically says construct viable arguments and critique the reasoning of others. It just means that we're going to have a good reason to be able to back up as we can critique, which is we're kind of like judging the reasoning of others, so other people are giving us an answer. So, 
based on that, do you think any fraction multiplied by a number, let's say greater than one, will have a product greater than the fraction? And the answer is probably going to be, well, sure. Because if, if a fraction times one is equal to the fraction every single time, then a fraction times any number that's greater than one will have a product that will have to be greater than that fraction. And this is why we looked at this, all right? And I'm just going to say goodbye to him now. Make him disappear. Yeah, come on down. Okay, so let's look at this problem. The Carter family has only one half. Uh, of a box of cereal at the beginning of the week. They ate three quarters of the one half box of cereal. Very fascinating problem because we don't even have our whole box any longer. And now I'm going to take my crayon and show. So if this is my half box, it says that the Carter family only has a half box. We can't even look at this. Okay, this over here. We can't look at that. There's only a half a box here. But it says that they ate three quarters. Okay. I can still show that three quarters of that half box. Now we've done that. So now we're going to write an expression. Sure. I like to write expressions. Okay. Three quarters times one half. So now we have this question down here. Will the product be equal to, greater than, or less than one half or than three quarters? The great question. Well, the product will, will be less than either factor. It would have to be. When you think about it, why is the product... Uh, of two fractions less than one, always less than either factor? Well, well, multiplying n number by a number less than one is going to decrease its value. We found that out when we worked with decimals. If we took the 0.5, which is what this is, and if we took the 3 quarters, which is 0.75, and I'm just going to put that up here, you may have recall, more like this, okay? We figured that we multiply, let me put that there, now we have 35, that's one, two, three decimal places. One, two, three. Now, if you recall, when we were working with decimals, the number actually became even smaller. Look at 0.37 is less than the 0.5, but, and it's also less than the 0.75. So in this case, the, the product here will be less than either, than, than either factor. And try to show an example of that. Okie dokie. And that, my friends, mathematical uh, practice six, where we're attending to precision here. That's a perfect example of that. Okay, attending to precision. This is important. This guy's good. Look at bullseye. Okay, attend to precision has to do with a lot of things, communicating precisely to others. Okay, we calculate accurately and efficiently. Just some examples. That is one of the mathematical practices. Mathematical practice six. All right, let's look on this page now. Moving on up. We have another way. We're going to use a diagram here. It looks like we have some number lines. So let's take a look. Uh, you can use a diagram to show the relationship between the products when a fraction is multiplied or scaled. And that's what we call scaled or resized because that's what we're doing by a number. Graph a point to show three quarters scaled by one, by one half, and four. And you can see they're all listed here. All right, so we're going to see kind of what happens. So if we start off with three quarters and, and we multiply by one, so I'm going to go ahead and show that to three quarters right there. So the line is basically going across, straight across, right to that spot. And there. And that shows the three quarters. So you can see, locate three quarters on the diagram, shade the distance. That's kind of what we did from zero. And then we then graph a point to show one of three quarters. And that's what that is, one of three quarters. Now let's do one half of three quarters, which is all the way right over here. Draw a line going across here. So the three quarters, and I'm going to find half of that. Well, half of three quarters, you can see here, if we do that one half, we're going one half the distance. One half of three quarters would be approximately here. I'm trying to draw my arrow there. And again, it says here, locate three quarters on the diagram and shade the distance from zero, then graph a point to show one half of three quarters. See how the resizing is going on. Now we're going to take four. What do you think is going to happen? Based on these other two diagrams, look at when we multiply by 1, we had that resizing. It was the exact same. He didn't actually resize at all. But when it was less than one whole, it became less. Now what happens when we multiply that fraction with a whole number that's like 4? Well, it's going to bring us way out of the park here. This is going to give us 3. And now suddenly, oh, here's our 3 quarters showing that. What's 4 of that? So it's like we're doing one, and then this is just approximate like two, three quarters would be one and a half, two, three, four. 
so it got resized that many times. Still here remains our three quarters, showing you that line. That's that three quarters, okay? And you can see that it went four times that it was resized times four. Coming down here, complete statement with equal to, greater than, or less than, explain your choices. Okay, that's doable. Now the product of one and three quarters will be, well, in this case, we know equal. This was our first problem on the other page. And I'll say that one times any number is that number, okay? One times any number, and I'm using this pound sign abbreviation for number, okay, is that number. This isn't, so this isn't a grammar test, right, and a writing test. This is the product of a number less than one and three quarters will be, well, it would have to be less, okay? We determine that too. Will be less, I'll just do that, less than three quarters and it would also be less than the other factor. So if I'm finding a fraction of three quarters and the other factor, so let me go ahead and just write that here. If I am finding, this is true, I am finding a fraction and the other factor. Okay, I'm finding a fraction of three quarters and the other factor. Now the product of a number greater than one and three quarters will be, well, greater than. Again, these were all, we were all found out. And then that's going to be and less than because, so, you know, if I were to multiply by, by a number that's greater than one, I am finding three quarters of that number, so which is less than that number itself, so it could be greater. If, if I multiply by a number that's greater than one, I'm finding three quarters of that number, which is less than the number itself. And this is what it's suggesting here. The product of a number greater than one and three quarters will be greater than. The product will be than three quarters and less than the other factor. So I think that covers it. This concludes 7.5, the good old go map. So my friends, as always, live long and prosper. Thank you.